Hi everybody, my name is Brian, I work at Ferris Support. Today we're gonna have a short video on how to add a driver to mobile print. I am logged in presently to the Ferris Print Center as administrator already. And because I'm logged in as administrator, we can see that I have a mobile print option tab on the top. So if I select a mobile print and then choose driver mapping, we can see that we have a list of devices that are already in our system and drivers that are associated with them down to the model type of the device. So when you install mobile print at first, it, it comes with the Microsoft PCL6 class driver. That doesn't always work for 100% of the time based on the device you're using. And there are instances when you may need to install a model specific driver to better suit your needs. And that's what we're gonna to discuss today. So I'm using print management on server 2012R2. I already have a driver in mind and it's already installed into the system and it's gonna be the HP Universal Printing Postscript version 6.2.1. We're now gonna come down to printers and I'm going to create a new printer. It's going to be an LPT1 printer and that will make sense in a moment. The next thing I'm gonna do is use an existing printer driver, the one that I just mentioned that is already installed in here, the PostScript driver for HP, and I'm gonna give it a name. The name is irrelevant overall. You can call it cats and dogs, but that's not gonna make much sense. I like to give it MP in the front, standing for mobile print, and then using the driver name afterwards. So when I look at that printer name, I know exactly, hey, this is the driver for mobile print and there's no need to share this printer. But you could call it anything you want. So as this wizard finishes up here, in a moment we're going to make some changes to that printer that we just created. And again, you're probably thinking, why did you make it an LPT1? This is not an LPT1 printer. Well, we, we really just did it as a, as a holding place so we can get in there and make the following change. So I'm gonna right click on this printer I just created go to properties and then come into ports and immediately I'm going to enable printer pooling and turn off LPT1. As I scroll down here, you'll notice further in the list down in the M's, there are 10 different mobile print ports. They start with 000 and go through 009. And we're going to turn all of these ports on for the printer. And just got a couple more here. Once you get that in, we are good. And I hit apply. I hit o OK. And I'm out. Now I have my printer. The next thing you need to do is to restart the mobile print worker service. I'm going to already have services open. So I'm going to restart it. And then I'm going to go back into the Ferris Print Center driver mapping and refresh the page. And now when I look at the driver menu under the printer, I can select NLC, the HP Universal Postscript driver. Once I set it and hit save, I'm done. You can do this for every device that is in your list down to the device model. Not all drivers will work equally with each device. So a universal print driver sometimes doesn't do it and you need to have a model specific driver in there. Sometimes the universal print driver does work, but the one that comes with the system, the PCL6 class driver doesn't. Again, this only is for mobile print and has no bearing on your other cues that you're using throughout the rest of Uniprint or Blueprint. That's all I got for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was useful. Cheers.